Hello, and welcome to this episode of Counterman Education Center. Today, we are going to get into a chilling subject, the frigid world of antifreeze. Ever since 1926, when ethylene glycol first was used as an automotive antifreeze, our vehicles have used some form of antifreeze consistently. To really understand the term antifreeze, we should look at what exactly it is. Primarily, it is a fluid mixture that is used to transfer heat out of an internal combustion engine. Additionally, it is used to protect engines from freezing in colder weather climates. Along with these important functions, it is also a corrosion inhibitor, lubricates the water pump, and reduces foaming. That is a lot of functions for just a liquid to do. For years, it was green, and you just put it in and forgot about it. Today, not so much. Today's cooling system fluids are varied and come in many varieties. Taking them for granted will only end in undesirable events. There are four main causes of cooling system failures. Corrosion. This condition leads to plugging, deposits, overheating, perforation, and leaks and damage to the cooling system or engine itself. Sealing. The cooling system can develop leaks both internally and externally. A sealant can help stop those leaks. Freezing and boiling. Today's engines are under significant stress. These stress levels push the cooling system capacities and capabilities to the edge. It is critical to have coolants at the proper dilution levels so they work optimally in both hot and cold weather. Overheating can lead to boiling, which may lead to engine failure. If an engine freezes during cold weather, engine components can crack and fail. Deposits. Engines work at extreme temperatures and stress levels. The proper coolant will keep deposits and scale to a minimum. Both characteristics cause cooling systems to break down. This will rob your vehicle of efficiency and possibly engine failure. You can see by this slide, there are basically three types of antifreeze chemistry. The first is IAT, or inorganic additive technology. These are typically good for two to five years. They are green or purple and are of a low silicate formula. Next is HOAT, or hybrid organic acid technology. This type is usually good for five years and up to 150,000 miles, and is gold, violet, aqua, red, or blue. These combine the IAT and the OAT technologies. The next and final formulation is OAT, or organic acid technology, it lasts between five and 10 years. They are orange or red and are also phosphate free and silicate free. Acids are organic, delivering extended life protection. With all these different variables, it is important to know what the OEM recommends for their vehicles. This is critical because they use custom metals in their engines and gaskets and the formulation needs to align with the components in the engine. Sometimes the words used to describe products can be very confusing. Here are some of the commonly used terms that we hear. Approved is a fluid that has undergone extensive testing and has been awarded specific approval by the engine manufacturer. Next would be meets or exceeds. This fluid has undergone testing by the fluid manufacturer to ensure it meets the standard OEM engine manufacturer specifications. Next is recommends. These fluids are recommended by the fluid manufacturer based on chemistry and industry standards. Whenever you are recommending a coolant for your customer, it is most beneficial to offer an automaker approved coolant like the Xerox brand of products. That's about all for today, and thank you so much for being with us. Stay cool.